Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x to the power of 8 minus x to the power of 2, divided by x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 2, this is equal to 9. So, what is the value of x from here? Now, let's provide a solution. Let's provide a solution. We can express x to the power of 8, this is the same thing as x to the power of 6 plus 2, then minus x to the power of 2, divided by x to the power of 4, which is x to the power of 2, plus 2, minus x to the power of 2, this is equal to 9. So x to the power of 6 plus 2, this is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which we can express as a to the power of n times a to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then we have x to the power of 6 multiplied by x to the power of 2, subtract x to the power of 2, divided by x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 2, subtract x to the power of 2, this is equal to 9. Since x to the power of 2 is common here, so we can factor out x to the power of 2, so that into the parentheses, we have x to the power of 6 minus 1, cross the parentheses, everything here, divided by x to the power of 2, into the parentheses, this is x squared minus 1, this is equal to 9. Now, x to the power of 2 here simplifies, so that now we have x to the power of 6 minus 1, divided by x to the power of 2, subtract 1, this is equal to 9. We can express x to the power of 6 as x to the power of 2 multiplied by 3, minus 1, divided by x to the power of 2, minus 1, this is equal to 9. So x to the power of 2 times 3, this is in the form of a, raised to the power of n times m, which we can express as a to the power of m, raised to the power of n. So here we have x to the power of 2, raised to the power of 3, then minus 1. We can express this as 1 to the power of 3. Remember 1 to the power of 3? This is the same thing as 1. So divided by x squared minus 1, this is equal to 9. Now, if we check the numerator here, x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 3 minus 1 to the power of 3. This is actually in the form of a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This is the difference of two cubes, which we can express as a subtract b multiplied by a squared plus a times b, then plus b to the power of 2. Applying this identity, then x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 3 minus 1 to the power of 3. This can be expressed as x to the power of 2, subtract 1, into the parentheses, this is x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2, then plus x to the power of 2, times 1, then plus 1 squared, and this implies that here we have x to the power of 2, minus 1, into the parentheses, this is x to the power of 2, raised to the power of 2, then plus x to the power of 2 times 1, this is x to the power of 2, then plus 1 squared, this is 1, divided by x squared, subtract 1 in the denominator. So in the numerator, you have x squared minus 1 and x squared minus 1 here. So we can simplify here. And remember, this is equal to 9. So we have x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2 here, then plus x to the power of 2 plus 1. This is equal to 9.
So we can take 9 on the left hand side so that we have x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2 here plus x to the power of 2 plus 1 minus 9. This is equal to 0. So this is x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2 plus x to the power of 2 subtract 8. This is equal to 0. We have x to the power of 2 is common here. So we can let x to the power of 2 be equal to t. So now we'll have t squared plus t minus 8. This is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation where we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to minus 8. So we can solve for t1 comma t2 by applying the quadratic formula here which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac everything here divided by 2 times a so let's substitute the values of a b and c in this formula so that we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is minus 8 everything here divided by 2 times 1 so here we have minus 1 plus or minus we have the square root of 1 squared this is 1 then we have minus 4 times minus 8 this is 32 times 1 so we have plus 32 everything here divided by 2 so here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 32 this is 33 divided by 2 so we have that t1 is equal to minus 1 plus the square root of 33 divided by 2 then we have t2 is equal to minus 1 minus the square root of 33 divided by 2 if you recall we are saying that let x to the power of 2 be equal to t. So let's substitute t with x to the power of 2 from here. Now substituting t with x to the power of 2, we have that x to the power of 2. This is equal to minus 1 plus the square root of 33. Square root of 33. Everything here divided by 2. So to solve for x, we introduce a square root on both sides. So we have the square root of x to the power of 2. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of square root of 33 minus 1 divided by 2. So this implies that x here is equal to plus or minus the square root of this is the square root of 33 minus 1 divided by 2 now this is x1 this is x1 comma x2 this is this what is plus or minus the square root of root 33 subtract 1 over 2 now when x squared is equal to we have minus 1 minus square root of 33 divided by 2 so to solve for x here again we introduce the square roots sign here we have the square root of x to the power of 2 this is equal to plus or minus the square root of now this is the same thing as minus into the parentheses this is 1 plus the square root of 33 everything here divided by 2 so this means that x here, that is x3 comma x4, this is equal to plus or minus the square root of, we have minus 1 times, here we have 1 plus the square root of that 3, divided by 2. We have that the square root of minus 1, this is the same thing as i. 
square root of minus 1 is i. So this implies that x3, comma x4, this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 plus the square root of 33, divided by 2, i. So these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions. And here we have x1 and x2. These are two real solutions. So in total, we have four solutions, two real solutions here, and two complex solutions. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.